Good afternoon, my friends. It is a beautiful day, or at least turned out to be a beautiful day. This morning it wasn't so friendly looking. <clears throat> I'm just enjoying a little bit stronger afternoon pipe. Today, I will be smoking my, I think it's Chariton of London, Chariton, Chariton, a uh, little cheapy pipe, but smokes good, and it's pretty. I actually bought it because the grain pattern, but I think I paid like 25 bucks for it. Super cheap. You can see my dog back here. But in it today, I am smoking C&D's Bayou Night. A blend that I'm actually really kind of coming into and understanding a little bit better. The tin still smells like eau de skunk. I mean, it is still bad. But the smoke isn't all that bad. It's actually pretty interesting. That whole Perique thing has me intrigued. I bought that two ounce tin that you saw me with when I did the review. And uh, I really haven't smoked it a whole lot up until recently. And uh, this this spring, as I got back into smoking a pipe, I, I started kind of experimenting with it here and there, kind of off and on. And I find that there's times it really does good. You know, and I've gone through probably a good big third or more of that tin. And the vast majority of it has been in the last couple of weeks. So, that just goes to show me that my preferences are beginning to shift a little bit again. That's something that'll happen to everybody over the course of time. Not just for pipe smoking, but just about everything. Your preferences shift as things in your life shift, I think. But today is my day off, and it's probably going to be pretty well, or pretty close to, my last day off for the summer. That's what shit, but what are you going to do? Tank? Oh, no, that's not tank. Uh, Koa! No. My daughter's got her dogs out here, too. So, <laughs> and one of them is the pup of my dog. You know, it's, it's his pup. And he looks identical. Like, other than size, he's identical. <laughs> but... Had a medical appointment today, discussing re test results from stuff I had done previously. Not the greatest, not the worst, but not the greatest. Uh, so they had to do some more tests to do whatever voodoo is they do. So we'll see. <laughs> What's the worst that can happen? Anywho, that is actually a very interesting blend. The Perique is something that until this blend I had not had. 
and it didn't really, you know, tickle my pickle when, when, uh, I first tried it out. It was interesting, but it, it wasn't my thing. And I think I'm kind of coming over to that Perique and Latakia type profile. I've got some uh, tobacco in the process of getting here, if it ever will, that uh, has uh, Virginia in it and Dark Fired Kentucky. Neither one of which I'd, I believe I have tried. I, Virginia might be in this one, but I don't remember. And uh, I think that will be very interesting too. It's supposed to have an extremely full profile, which I am very interested in at this point in my life. So I will enjoy trying that just to see what it is that's there, you know, and see if it'll suit my preferences and, and, you know, my, my desires as a, a pipe smoker at this point in my life. And if it does, I'm going to order the shit in bulk. <laughs> I think out of that, you remember that 14 ounce can of, of, uh, what is it? Prince Albert that I bought last summer? Yeah. After that, you just about only saw me smoking Prince Albert after for a while. Yeah. That's almost entirely gone. I think I have like maybe two ounces left. And all of a sudden, it's just not to my taste anymore. It lost something, you know, as far as my preferences are concerned, it kind of lost something. So that alone told me that my preferences were beginning to shift with all the shit that I'm dealing with. But, and that, that might be just exclusive to me. I don't know. I don't claim to know. But uh, as I go through life and and the experiences I have and, you know, all of that, my preferences tend to change based on what I'm dealing with or what I'm going through or blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, <laughs> we'll see. But I don't care who you are. 14 ounces is a lot of tobacco. That's a lot of pipes, baby. A lot of bowls. Sorry, thought I saw something. Bears are back out, by the way. Yes, sir. Let me roll this down. Sorry, I want to be able to see my son clearer. But, uh... They found another squirrel. <laughs> Bears are back out. And, uh... They're not in particularly a good mood at this point in time. But they've been spotted all over the valley now. So when my boy is out playing, I'm, I'm pretty watchful of the woods. And I have the dogs. They'll help kind of keep an eye out, which is what they're here for. That's their job, is to keep an eye out and protect as they can. But I keep a watchful eye out anyway. And I have, uh, have my pew pew in the back of the truck here and I got another one just inside the door of the house just in case you know can't be too careful when it comes to those four-legged bears
And they, uh, they don't much care what you want or think. And they sure as hell don't care if their food starts wig or keeps wiggling while they're still eating on it. <laughs> Little rough on the retro hail though. Bit of a sting, a burn. Not like a pepper burn, mind you. Just a like a crispy sting, if that makes sense. That Latakia. And Perique mix and whatever the hell else is in this thing it all just kind of comes together pretty well uh, at least for me at this point and that's why I ordered that other stuff that I got coming plus I found one of my favorite tobaccos yes sir I thought I lost it right because last summer I told you about this old codger up there uh, I say Codger, this old man up there in Fairbanks. He was there for years, and he did this specialty blend that he took over to the, uh, one of the local liquor stores and tobacco shops to sell. And he called it Black Bear. And if you watch that video, I was actually kind of heartbroken that that old boy that went and passed away, you know, I thought, man, and he was, he was cool to talk to, by the way, I mean, he was, he was really cool to talk to, uh, quiet, but boy, he had some stories once you got him going, uh, but I heard that he, he kicked off, right, well, uh, it turns out he didn't, he went to the hospital for a little bit, but he didn't kick off, so, He's back. He's making the black bear blend again. And I found some at the very tail end of last last uh, summer. And uh, <laughs> I saw that and I picked up 12 ounces of it, man. Just like that. Good stuff. And I still like that stuff. And, and matter of fact, I'll probably smoke that the next video I do if I remember. <laughs> <laughs> my son just got a, a little electric car today that i picked up for him but and he wanted it you know he wanted that particular one well that particular one is a sports car taking that over rocky terrain don't work all that well but he's sure giving it the college try i tell you what So yeah, life has been interesting in a lot of ways. Some of them not so good, some of them pretty good. So, but that's life, you know. You don't get the ups without the downs. Got to have some balance in there, I suppose. Sometimes it don't feel like there's much. But it balances out. Everything works out the way it's supposed to in the end. Even if it means we kick off, it all gets balanced out. Revin, you're just going to wear the battery down, buddy. Huh? You're just going to wear the battery down like that, bud. I mean, just holding it upright like that and pushing the button like that. You're not going to go anywhere and you're just going to wear the battery out, son. Mm -hmm. So don't do that. Okay. He says okay, but he's still doing it. Kids.
What are you gonna do, you know? Just goofy. He's a good kid, though. Mostly. Anyway, thank y'all for coming along. Take care, y'all. Peace. I'm out.